Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the MEN Arena here in the heart of Manchester, England, as we have a big night of action coming away brought to you by Frank Warren in association with Don King Productions, www.frankwarren.tv and the Queensbury Fight Network as sponsored by Russian Premier Vodka and Planet Hollywood. At this time, we present the first of our world title attractions, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, the President Francisco Valcarcel. Supervisor is the former world champion, Istvan Koko Kovacs. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Jeff Bolter. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from the United States, Thomas Miller. From Spain, Manuel Oliver Polomo. And from England, Mickey Van. Introducing our third man to the ring, our referee in charge, hailing from Leeds, Dave Paris. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with red and white trim. He weighed in at nine stone, three pounds, or 129 US pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 21 wins, no losses, and one draw, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBO number one super featherweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico. Introducing Roman Rocky Martinez. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, is the defending world champion. Wearing red trunks with white trim, he weighed in at nine stone, four pounds, or an even 130 US pounds. His fine record includes 29 wins, only one defeat, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former undefeated British Commonwealth and European champion, tonight making the first defense of the title he won in this ring last September. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the current and reigning WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Dagenham in England, introducing Nikki Cook. Once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Dave Paris. I spoke to you both in the dressing room, boys. You know what I expect of you. Right? Keep your punches clean. Shake hands, boys. Shake hands. Come on. Good luck. Referee Dave Paris, who might have been a little bemused to have been introduced as coming from Leeds. I think you heard from his accent there. He's very much from Tottenham in North London, but uh, it's an easy mistake to make, I guess. Seconds out. Cook in the red trucks here. One of only two British world champions with the major governing bodies at the moment. The other being Carl Froch, the super middleweight. But this is a tough one against his mandatory challenger, Roman Martinez of Puerto Rico. And we've learned to have great respect for the Puerto Rican fighters. Thought he looked a little skeletal on the scales yesterday, Martinez, though. Yeah, he made the weight pretty easily, too. Well, well it's nice to see. I mean, I mean, I thought he was a fighter who wanted to be aggressive right from the off. But I see him circling, which is good news. Because I'd like to see Nicky Cook coming forward in this fight as much as possible. And he's on the front foot at the moment. But you can see already Martinez is a thinker. He's trying to draw leads and counter. Nice left hook from him. Good right hand as well. Quite quick handed by the look of things. Martinez, he's won his last 14 contests by the way. And he's beaten a guy called Francisco Lorenzo who'd previously beaten Nate Campbell, who went on to become world lightweight champion. That's a good form line. He also went the distance with Humberto Soto, who's a WBC champion at the moment. So useful form, Martinez. That's probably why the bookmakers make him a narrow favorite for this. And you can see he's a little weight. He just leans forward from the waist as he's about to throw the punches, and that just gives him an extra couple of inches. 
And a couple of times Cook has thought he's been out of range. He's just been caught. Not big punches yet, but there you are, stepping in nicely with the shot. It's good body shot to trading jabs. Martinez can be hit quite a lot himself, mind you. He's been poker-faced all week here. He's looked like a man on a mission, saying very little, waiting for tonight to make his statement. Can he make it, though? Cook, who's been training in Tenerife, and almost Nigel Benn-style preparation, which he favours these days. Running on Mount Tidy, Europe's second biggest mountain. It's a lovely left hand there from Martin as he picked it well. I mean, we have always said defending a title is tougher than challenging for one because it's the biggest night of your life challenging. You have everything to lose tonight. Didn't see any problem there. The gum shields come out, didn't notice that. Gum shields out. Neither did I, to be honest with you, Jim, but it has, so they have to rinse that off. No advantage gained, really. So far in his career, unbeaten for Puerto Rican. Good body shot there from Cook, who may grow in confidence by becoming world champion. You often see that, don't you, Jim? <laughs> yeah, but I think so. Uh, and I think being that it was stopped the first time he challenged for the world title, but he's up now as super featherweight, he looks a much better fighter, a much more confident fighter. He's got enough a lot to split them in the opening round, maybe the better quality shots came from Martinez. But it's not really much to split them. Good opening round, two fighters who are thinking their way around the ring. This could be an interesting fight. Meanwhile, the build-up goes on to the big one tonight, Amir Khan against Marco Antonio Barrera. What a night, what a fight for Amir Khan. It really is a must-win night for him, really, to rebuild his career after what happened against Bradis Prescott here six months ago. He's looked relaxed all week, but it's not all week that matters. It's tonight. How's he looked to you there, Jim? Well, he, he looks strained, which you have to expect. I would hate to think he wouldn't be nervous. This is a massive night for him. He's fighting a legend. A legend he's probably admired for most of his own life. So this is tough, but he looks to be dealing with it OK. No signs of anything untoward, anyway, about uh, Khan's demeanour at this stage. Ten seconds, corners. Meanwhile, live in the ring, important business for Dagenham's Nicky Cook. British Commonwealth and European Second champion who's earned two. his uh, dues in the, in the business, paid his dues, hasn't he? Looking the red trunks, beaten only once in his career, that was in a challenge for the featherweight championship of the world against Steve Loavano. I think he was a bit tight at the weight, got floored five times and was well beaten. Well, Martinez doesn't look to be a beast, he's not someone who's going to get bully Cook. So it looks as though Cook can take some chances here, come up himself a little bit. See, these are good solid punches now coming from Cook. Look at the more snap and the jab. Oh, great, oh, right. great right uppercut from Cook there. One or two eye catching shots to the body from him as well. Getting that jab going well, Cook here. Yep, yeah, and it's a stiff looking jab as well. Again, I think Martinez's arms are just a little bit longer than Cook expects. A couple of times the jab's landed, not with any snap, but I just think it, Cook feels he's out of range. It might be an optical illusion, but Cook looks bigger, doesn't he, than the Puerto Rican? Yeah, and, and considering he's come up from featherweight, but I mean, it was a massive featherweight, remember? But yet, yeah, Cook looks the stronger of the two, so I hope he can bring that into play. Bully this fellow, push him. Good stuff. Signs of a good fight brewing here between these two. Good right hand from Martinez over the top that time. A little bit of shoulder there from, I think, uh, Dave Paris is warning him for it, but I'm looking for a little bit of that, maybe a little bit more subtle if you like. But just use your strength, use your size, push this fellow back. I said in the opening round, I would like to see push uh, Cook on the front foot. I think this fellow likes to gain momentum and rhythm in his work. You'll deny him that if you push him back. There's a body shot from Martin. Let's keep them up, said Dave Paris. It looked fair enough to me, I yep, must say. Yep, yep. It was on Dave's blind side, but it, you know, there was nothing wrong with the punch. Just looking to wind it up a bit in the closing stages of the round. Martin has a round. I think Cook's had the better of those so far. That was a bit low, that one. 
Good shot, so from Cook. He looked sharp and snappy. And he did very, very well the night he won the title against Alex Arthur. He diffused Arthur, I thought, that night. Didn't land with that. A lot of people at the back of the hall, Oud and R, but it hit the glove. In fact, that left hand of Cooks. Yeah, but I think this is a more positive round from Nicky Cook here. OK, he's on the back foot as I'm speaking. He's letting go with some real quality shots. Oh, oh he's got him with a left hook. He dipped his knees. He nearly went. Then a body shot. Cook here. Can he find some clinical work here? But what a breakthrough that was. What a breakthrough for Nicky Cook. Martinez in trouble in the second big round for the British world champion. Welcome back to the MEN Arena in Manchester. And challenger Roman Martinez in trouble in the second after this work from champion Nicky Cook. Ten seconds, Bill. Well, won't get a punch landing in the button anymore. Clean on that bang from body to the chin. Unfortunately, he just didn't Second touch down. Round. If the glove had touched the floor, we'd be talking at a 10-8 round. But that was a different Nicky Cook in the second round. Definitely his round. His round three. I think a first impression of Martinez is, while he's a solid operator, he's no Miguel Cotto, is he, we're dealing with here from Puerto Rico? No, and he hasn't come, come up with anything out of the ordinary. The, the jab's good, it's quick. As I say, he leans forward now and again with the punches, which gives him the extra couple of inches. But Cook still looking the physically stronger of the pair. Taking the initiative all the time. He's first off with his punches, and all the time Martinez seems to be thinking and waiting, which is not to say he won't grow in stature as this goes on. The only change I would suggest is not single jabs from Cook, because this fellow doesn't move his head too much from the first jab. But you can counter single punches if you put them out in twos and threes, they're not so easy to counter. Okay, a bit low, a lovely right hand. That time from Cook Brown appreciated that. Ripple of applause around the arena. And we know now that Martinez can be troubled by the power of Nicky Cook. I wonder what Cook's weight in the ring is tonight. He looks big, doesn't he? Yep, and he's beginning to impose himself a little bit more on Martinez. Love to see Nicky just get the body weight forward, push this fellow back. I mean, Martinez is cute, I imagine he will be able to operate on the back foot. It's just a not so effective, yeah, just a stumble and in the... <laughs> and something from the, from the referee's uh, badges, I think, stuck on his head. <laughs> now we've seen it all in this jungle. Good, to the left of the body there, again, Martinez started to keep it up again, it looked like a reasonable enough punch. See, I'm surprised Nicky gets himself into the driving seat, takes charge, and he's not driven away, he just takes that little spell off again. And he's first off with that jab all the time, not doubling it up, not giving it the postman's knock. Yep, yeah, and I think just... It, Forgetting the single punches, putting them together, even the, the old fashioned left right finish on the left hook. I mean, it's the left hook that almost had him over. Right! Yep, that's the only difference I would suggest. Put, don't let the punches go in single shots. Just covering up well. Yep, another round where we haven't seen anything special for Martinez, nothing that Cook can't handle. He's generally in charge of it at the moment. We've seen Amir Khan arriving, Marco Antonio Barrera, the three-weight world champion. By the way, uh, one poll issued this week had him at number 43 in the all-time list of the greatest fighters in history. No arguments here. And it, look at them, there's 40 of them, 40 friends and family with him. Yeah, and I think the fact that he's brought this an entourage over, he didn't bring them over to see him lose. He's confident, he fancies Amir Khan, he's not in his class. I think it's all down to, what does he have left? 
75 percent of what he used to have could well be enough tonight great to see him fighting in britain not in las vegas or mexico city excellent and remember we had mike tyson fighting Second in Arena, didn't we against julius francis remember that all those years ago and the whole city seemed to go potty that week back to this one in the ring now martinez might want to try and wrestle the initiative away here but look, started fairly well almost as if he's making a statement as if to say look i'm the champion around here at the moment what are you going to do about it yeah and i think you have to expect uh, martinez's corner to tell him to up the work rate he's boxing away from home look troubled by those body shots martinez i thought yeah cook stood his ground there and for me he came out on top of that little exchange Good jab, good right through the middle from Martinez, who just occasionally looks dangerous. I think Cook's hurting him with some of these, you know, to the body. He seemed to kind of just double up and hug his elbows into the ribs, didn't he? Yeah. And I tell you, Cook's making him want to throw shots for those body punches. And that can take the initiative away. Although I think he's hurt Cook a couple of times with his body shots, so but that, that was low. The referee seemed happy enough to let it go. Cook's pulling out a good performance here so far in a fight that quite a few people didn't really fancy him in, including the bookmakers. But more fire in Martinez's work here. I think the way he came off the stool, I think his corner have asked for more. He's trying to set himself for the punches a bit more as well, Martinez. He's only stopped just over half of his victims. It doesn't smack of a record of a massive big hitter. But he has had a few people on the floor. Oh, oh and he's got Cook on the floor there too. Three, Left hand and Cook four, is in bad trouble five, now. Turn six, around here. Seven, or is eight, he going to make it? Nine, the legs have been trying and he got up at about nine and a half, I think, there. Just made it. He's looked his corner, so at least his head's clear enough for that. But he must grab hold. He doesn't want to trade now because he's badly hurt. Needs to get close. Oh, and another. It was bad idea three, that. Four, his pride made him trade again and he's flawed six, again. Seven, eight, nine, Just about made it, but no, says Dave Paris. No, it is over. And the title has gone from Dickie Cook. Roman Martinez of Puerto Rico has taken the title away. And it all went down the drain in a matter of seconds for the British boxer. That one, there was a right call, I know the Cook camp will be devastated, but twice you just make the count by the skin of your teeth, your legs have gone, you don't look ready to continue, referee's job to stop the action before something goes wrong, but just at a time when Cook was seemed to be producing the better punch, he seemed to be the stronger of the two, but a tremendous left uppercut from Martinez, bang onto the button, there it goes, Tremendous punch that was, right out of the blue, first time really he tried the left uppercut and look at the result. And when you see a fighter landing on his back like that, you don't expect him to get up any time soon. But he managed to get his feet again, but you can see the impact of that punch. He came off the floor, he looked his corner, which suggested his head had cleared, but he traded punches when he should have been spoiling and offered the target again. And the way he has collapsed to the floor, the fight's over. Dave Paris had no option. He bravely tried to fight back when he needed really to grapple, hold, buy time, somehow get through the round, but it was kind of predictable what was going to happen, wasn't it, in the end there? Yeah, well, this is, I mean, as I say, I thought his head was clear the way he looked at the corner. They must have instructed him to do what they thought was right, but he sailed back into battle when his senses weren't where they should be. And unfortunately, he's just lost his world title. We knew it was going to be a dangerous night for him, but I feel he was performing so well up to that point. Then tragedy struck. There's the new champion, Roman Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 20 seconds in round number 4. A referee in charge stops the contest. The fighter in no condition to continue. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the new WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Roma.